four, three, two, one. Hey guys, it's Bucky Doran taking a road trip today in the K Country Cruiser. And I grew up in this small town of Leclaire, Iowa. Oh, I'd say about maybe 2,300, 2,000 people or so when I was living there. And there was this museum at the bottom of the hill, uh, the Buffalo Bill Museum. Still there to this day. And I used to go down there once or twice a year, rode my bike down there. And as I look back on it, and I was fascinated then, but even more so now that my little hometown of Leclerc, Iowa, had a museum that people from 50 states were coming to visit this thing, Canada even as well. And, and I know that the state is loaded with all kinds of these great little museum shops and oddity locations that people have never heard of off the beaten path so we're going to start taking some hawkeye road trips and today we're going to gladbrook iowa now the freedom rock is there of course i'm going to stop and take a look at that but we're going to look at matchsticks i hear it's pretty cool though i always like to take these day trips and try to find these places that are just off the beaten path odd maybe but so cool once you get there and nobody's ever heard of them or they're the best kept secret in the world so that's why i'm in gladbrook today to check out matchstick marvels now, Matchsticks Marvels feature statues that are made from matchsticks and also glue. Artist Pat Acton from the Gladbrook area is the one mastermind behind all of this. He's actually been also uh, contracted out by Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum to make these statues, and they get carted all around the world. And I happened to be lucky enough to run into Pat while I was there at Matchstick Marvels. And I tell people, of all things, matchsticks would take you on a journey, but it's, it's uh, allowed me to travel, you know, uh, worldwide and um, it's just had some perks for a very novel kind of you tell people you make things out of matchsticks and after their old eyes quit rolling back <laughs> you, you know you kind of have to see the models to believe them. But the story about the Matchstick Marvels Museum the building the facilities itself is is pretty remarkable although Ripley's had bought a few of the smaller models that I made earlier our house looked like a music. We had matchstick models all over because they continued to get large and they grew from a few hundred or thousands of sticks and a few inches big to tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of sticks and now measuring in feet and scale that was much larger. So I, I got to a point I had to find somewhere at a minimum to store them but I was more interested in trying to find a place to display them. A couple people from the community of Gladbrook approached me and said, if we provide the facility, would you consider keeping the models here in town? And I said, well, I'd love that. I, I, I'd i love that because I, for certain, want to keep them in Iowa, and if we can keep them here, that's even better. So the community was able to earn, a, they gathered a lot more money uh, than they ever thought they would, uh, so it allowed us to build this building which houses Matchstick Marvels, a movie theater for a town of a thousand, and uh, city offices, and it's just been wonderful. So everybody thanks me for, <laughs> you know, for keeping the models here, and I, I'm so grateful to this community for the, for the outpouring support we got. We've had people from every state in the Union, including Hawaii and Alaska, so many foreign countries, I quit. Yeah. Quick counting. So we've, we've had them from, from all over, believe me, all over. Uh, we visited Washington, D.C., and I was looking at the Capitol building, and I said, I have to have one of those. So I literally, literally made my mind up while we were sitting there looking at the actual building that I would make one. It came home, and two years later, that's when I was working full-time, so it was just strictly hobby and I made the United States Capitol. And at times I was waiting for the FBI to show up because I was on the Capitol website daily and uh, you know, looking at floor plans and so on, but they never showed up, so I got away with one, I guess. <laughs> Well, that'll wrap up our visit to Matchstick Marbles in Gladbrook, Iowa. And you can Google it, find out all the details. Plus, uh, they're open weekdays 1 to 5. Get over there and check it out. And while you're there, check out the Freedom Rock as well on the south side of town on Highway 96. they got a pretty cool memorial as well for our veterans. Salute. All right, for our next Hawkeye road trip, you tell us where you think we should go. Post a comment below or reach out to us, and we'll add it to the list of possibilities to head out. And in the meantime, get off those four lanes. Check out the two lanes in those small towns. Fall in love with Iowa all over again. We'll talk to you next time out there on the next Hawkeye Road Trip. In the meantime, get out and get exploring.